instruments. Okay, that's all set. Just put in 11,000 feet. So I had a great little overnight here in Hangar 9. Went to the dentist, found out my teeth are perfect. And now we're gonna fly to Boston. Got a meeting in the morning, and then head down to Sun and Fun tomorrow afternoon. So it's tons of flying. This is gonna be about a seven hour flight to Boston today. Just do it nonstop. It's too cold this time of year to stop uh, this part of the country for fuel, so we're just gonna go the whole way. If we fly Lena Peak, we'll have like a uh, 30 gallon reserve. That's almost three hours of fuel. So we got plenty of fuel. Usually on these flights, I like to stop just to you know, see places that you wouldn't normally end up, but this time of year, it's, it's too cold to get out and fuel the airplane. Fuels and sprints gas as you run up. Switches, no safety. Okay, we're ready to go. Lights on, count flaps open, trim set, props full forward. Now we'll get the mixture on the runway, on the runway here. Minneapolis Center Bonanza 367 Hotel Papa. Bonanza 367 Hotel Papa, Minneapolis Center, go ahead. Bonanza 367 Hotel Papa, this is off of Aberdeen, Turn I have to Lima Whiskey Mike, we're climbing through 3000. Bonanza 367 Hotel Papa, clear to Lawrence, Massachusetts Airport via direct, climb 18 1 1000, clock 2454. Clear to the Lawrence Airport via direct, maintain 1 1000, clock 2454, Bonanza 367 Hotel Papa. So far we got a nice little tailwind, we're climbing out here at 142 knots across the ground. Yeah, I got plenty of snacks here. My girlfriend's mom brought me a whole little box. Good airport sale. So nice to be home. Top 5, all the frequencies, all the airports, all the terrain, all the roads. All downtown airport via direct Alexandria as files. I maintain flight level 210. Clear to St. Paul, Alexandria as filed to one zero eight seven. There's the farm that my mom grew up on. But yeah, had a nice little night. Two kilo, kilo to Through the play in the hangar at Hangar 9. Literally the best FBO in the world. Like, for real, it's where I learned to fly. They have the best service. I had a couple little uh, maintenance questions. They looked at it real quick. I mean, it's just an awesome operation. Go check them out. Uh, they always have the cheapest fuel if you're flying across like the northern part of the country. Drop in here for fuel on the way to Oshkosh, whatever. Here, three zero Delta, lighting of uh, two six five. Fuel, courtesy cars, maintenance, anything you need, they'll do it. The three six seven Hotel Papa, change to my frequency one two eight point five. Seven Hotel Papa made the switch. That's Seven Hotel Papa, thank you. Went halfway across the country yesterday from the other halfway across the country today. Basically from the southwest tip to the northeast tip. So last night when I was unloading everything, a uh, pop can like burst and just sprayed pop everywhere in here. I mean, it was on the ceiling, on the windows in the back, on the windows in the front, on the windshield, on the glare shield, on the panel, on the switches down there, like literally every piece on the yoke, like on in between the seats, on the seats, on the back of the seats, on all four headsets. Like, I mean, literally every piece of this plane had pop on it. And so it just took about an hour to try to clean up, you know, whatever I could. But I'm still seeing little spots here and there. I have a feeling I'm gonna be finding little sticky spots for uh, a long time to come. It's crazy, I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna institute a no pop can policy. We have bottles, it's just, no cans. Let's see here. I have some pistachio. Actually, I really I want some apricots. About 25 miles down. 1,157 to go. We should have uh, some pretty smooth flying today. Uh, shouldn't be too bumpy or anything. So some slight icing concerns here and there. There's some low clouds through here, uh, but those tops should be well below us. And then up in here, the by the time we get there, it should be clear right now. There's some clouds. Um, a little bit of concern about icing, but 
We'll see what it's like when we get there. It's basically going to be more of a over or under type of issue. So if it's clear by the time we get there, we'll just stay up here. Otherwise, we might have to duck down somewhere in here and just stay under the clouds as we get a little further east. But I think it's going to be basically clear by the time we get there. Yeah, here we go to the briefing. This is about the time we'll get to Boston. See, we're showing like tops 9,000-ish up through here uh, in Wisconsin and so, and then clear by the time we get out there. So this rate will be there in six hours. We lose about 10 knots here in Lena Peak, but we're about three gallons an hour better, so pretty good. So let's see what we got here for snacks. We've got some dried apricots, pistachios, some uh, cookies with uh, Hershey Kisses pretzel crackers, some grapes, and some fresh cut pineapple with a fork. How awesome is that? Thank you, Susan. So we got 105 gallons over an 11.6, we'll say. So we're gonna have three hours of fuel left when we get to Lawrence. The question I get all the time is, what do you do on long flights like this, like a you know, seven hour flight like today? And uh, the answer is a lot of things, you know, it's just sit back, taking in all the views, and it's awesome out here, coming up on Lake Michigan. Some really cool colored clouds with the sun sort of starting to set. Just taking all that in, watching the weather, keeping an eye on fuel, the engine, all that kind of stuff. Especially in a plane like this, or anything with a, a modern panel. There's not a whole lot to notice that's not gonna be screaming at you anyway. So really the biggest thing is, you know, try to keep a lookout for traffic. Of course, we've got active traffic. We're IFR, we're above 10,000 feet, so everyone has to have a transponder. But, uh, you know, looking out the window, kind of just keeping an eye on this stuff. But when you're comfortable in an airplane, in cruise, you can really do a lot as long as you can multitask effectively. You can listen to music. Uh, a lot of times I listen to audiobooks on Audible. In fact, you can click the link in the description. Basically, you get virtually any book in audiobook form on your phone or your tablet, your computer, whatever, and you can listen to it while you're flying. Learn something new. You can cancel any time. But every time you sign up for a free trial, it supports this channel and helps me make content like this. Just give you guys as close to an in-cockpit experience as absolutely possible. And I gotta get some shots of Lake Michigan here. So this kind of, that's Green Bay over there. And you got this little, uh, I don't know, peninsula that juts out. And this is the, the real deal Lake Michigan up there. We've got enough fuel reserves right now that if we bring this up to Ridge of Peak, we can gain a little speed, get there a little sooner today, and still have plenty in reserve. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. As I asked, you can feel the uh, acceleration. Yeah, so we'll still have an hour reserve when we get there. We got about 10 knots back, we're running a little more gas. Traffic, it's going to be late already, I want to get there soon, I want to go to bed. So about 3 hours and 45 minutes left to go. I'm going to do some calf exercises here. Prevent any blood clots from sitting on such a long flight. So the island's just up there, uh, have a couple land, have a couple uh, Airports. One's uh, private, it's a privately owned island, and uh, the one just north of that has a really nice uh, grass strip maintained by the RAF, the Recreational Aviation Foundation. They do a lot of work to keep up uh, backcountry strips like this. Uh, I haven't checked it out yet, but I really want to. It's Travis City over there. Stopped there this summer. Made a vlog of it, but I just been so busy doing other cool stuff. I haven't had a chance to get it out yet. But uh, that'll be coming sometime soon, so watch for that. If you don't subscribe, hit subscribe. So many cool little places up here in northern Michigan to check out. I love flying up here. See what the weather's doing. Yeah, it looks like it's going to be just this forecast. The weather's going to just be absolutely perfect the whole way. That has been so lucky. I mean, yesterday the weather was absolutely perfect going all the way from California to South Dakota. And now today it's going to be absolutely perfect going all the way from South Dakota to Boston. So just crossing the entire country in two days, the weather has been more perfect than it could possibly be. 
Seven Hotel Papa, you're just about to enter a uh, frequency area that uh, is out of service. So uh, your backup frequency is going to be Toronto Center 132.57. And uh, if you don't hear from me in 35 minutes from now, go to that frequency in 35 minutes from now. Okay, if we don't hear anything in 35 minutes, we'll go 132.57, Bonanza 367 Hotel Papa. Okay. Now, flight 1305, we're going to set a little timer for 35 minutes to remind me. I think that's basically at the border, is what he's looking at. At the border, we'll call Toronto Center if we don't hear anything from Minneapolis first. BRB. Actually kind of nice just having like 35 minutes of silence, not having to reply to radio calls. And that's one of my favorite things about flying over the ocean is there are times where you just can't talk to anyone for hours and uh, it's so peaceful. So we're still doing great on fuel, we got a little over four hours, we got four hours of fuel. Just yeah, under three, three hours to the destination. You'll see uh, triple seven traffic, uh, 11 o'clock, four miles. miles. Stopping at Alderton Point either. either. So, we oh, easily got enough to three, 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 shoot an approach, go miss, fly to an alternate, and hold for 45 minutes. We kind of just passed Toronto and then uh, Trenton, Ontario. Now we're flying over Lake Ontario, heading down into uh, New York, Vermont, New Hampshire, Massachusetts. Yeah, so basically we're showing uh, clear right up until we get to uh, Cleveland Center, Lawrence. 128.0, Delta Papa, can I cross and approach 134.75 today? 13475, Papa, good night. And the next one will be 24 -4. Boston Approach, Minanza 367 Hotel Pompo, 10,000 ascending 900,000. Number 367 Hotel Pompo, Boston Approach, good evening, Boston, Altimeter 3018, Boston, we have the Lawrence 8 Sasa, which approach your flight. 3018, we have the weather, we'd uh, like the visual, 7 Pompo. 367 Hotel Pompo, roger, direct the field if you're not already, lower altitude momentarily, expect visual approach. Now we're direct, 7 Pompo. Okay, so this is pretty cool actually. We've just flown IFR for 1,200 miles direct, minus one vector for like five or ten minutes around Minneapolis. But uh, other than that, like we got direct for 1,200 miles. Just besides the U.S. and Canada, there's nowhere else in the world that that would happen. Even VFR in a lot of places. Yeah, so it looks like it's pretty foggy out here. It apparently uh, clears up over by Lawrence, just uh, 20 miles further. Okay, I'll go to the visual, 1-4. Yeah, there's this nice little fog moving in for sure. Okay, we got three green in that. Hey, number seven hotel pop advice, canceling IFR airborne on this frequency or on the ground promptly, 126.15, change to advisory frequency approved. Okay, we'll cancel on the ground, 2615, change to advisory, seven pop. Thank you. Lawrence traffic, Bonanza 7 Hotel Pump, about uh, four and a half to the uh, south, to the northwest. Going to be straight in runway one for uh, Lawrence. Okay, cruise down, that's good. Go ahead and flip on the landing light. Drop so forward. Probably be fogged in by the time I get the car loaded. That's okay. Would have been a little bit more fun maybe that way, but I'll take this. Here we are in Lawrence. Got a meeting in the morning. Then we'll fly to Sonnenfeld. Or at least most of the way. We'll see. <laughs> 